All right, so what is good, YouTube? In this video, we're going to be going back in time. As we all know, DeMarcus Cousins just got cut by the Houston Rockets just a few days ago. And I really just wanted to go back in time because at one point, Boogie was one of the best players in the entire NBA until he tore his Achilles. And I really just want to see what his career would look like if he did not have to waste majority of his prime on the Sacramento Kings. So enough of the intro. Let's head back to 2010 and let's hope that Boogie can get drafted into a way better situation let's get it and to start up this story we gotta wrap up the 09 010 season and a lot of things actually happened to start off this video dwight howard actually gets an mvp tyreek evans is still the best rookie and yeah a lot of things happened once this team actually got to the playoffs because Kobe Bean Bryant would still go on to win this year's championship. He gets his fifth ring, and history is kind of relatively the same as in real life. Heading into this year's draft, they got PG possibly going to the Clippers. We got DeMarcus Cousins going to the Washington Wizards, which I'm not so sure that's where I want to start off our, you know, career. But hey, we're going to let 2K do his thing. They're saying that he's going to be the next Kareem, which I ain't going to lie. Boogie definitely has the talent to, you know, make that happen. But let's get straight into the draft lottery. Of course, we see our boy John Wall, who gets the number one overall pick, man. I want to go to a good team. Definitely not the Kings again. Let us stay away from the Kings and the Timberwolves. Okay, me and Kevin Love? That sounds pretty promising. But let's head into the NBA draft, and let's see what's popping up with that number one overall draft pick. So the Wolves are now on the clock, and they pick up John Wall. John Wall still goes number one in this draft. Rubio just got drafted there. Derek Favors goes number two. Hey, yo, this man pointing or no is speaking facts. Speaking straight facts right there. And the Toronto Raptors, I do not want to leave the country. Paul George ends up in Toronto with DeMar DeRozan. That's actually not so bad of a draft pick, but we're still here at pick. Oh my gosh, really, bro? This man misses Sacramento, but he ends up in Milwaukee. And don't say anything. Of course, the fans are already hyped up, but I'm not sure if I want to end up in Milwaukee. That just might not be it. I'm not going to lie. But yo, Boogie starting off as they got Bogey. Why are we on a team with, with Bogey? At least they got Brandon Jennings. Regardless, Boogie is on a brand new team, a whole new pathway. And Kobe Bryant wins the championship and goes to the Spurs. But not just him. Braun says, if you can't beat him, you might as well join him. He pulls up in Boston, d way to Philly. So far, we're already up to a crazy start as Joe Johnson heads up with TD and Kobe. I ain't gonna lie, man. Our team is bad. We got Jordan Farmar starting. We got John Salmons. This can definitely be a rough rookie season, but at least the Miami Big Three no longer exists, which is honestly a W if you ask me. And at the end of our rookie season, ain't no way 2K made us make the playoffs, man. Really, bruh? We couldn't tank one more season and get Kyrie Irving. Regardless, Kevin Durant goes ahead and he wins MVP. We're rookie of the year. Putting up 28 and 11 boards, two blocks. This man, Boogie, was in his bag, 47% from the field. Boogie had one of them all-time type rookie seasons. He led this team to the playoffs with a garbage squad. This man was a rookie all-star, second team all-NBA, and rookie of the year. Hey, yo, what more can you really ask for? We got six men like Lou Will, six man of the year. Good for him and Josh Smith. You guys already know. Mario Chalmers. Yo, I forgot this guy even existed. But this league is definitely off to a way different start. We see our our boy PG is also on the third team. This rookie class is going insane. And you've got to be kidding me, man. They really got us matched up against the Orlando Magic in the first round. But looking at these stats, obviously we're led to points by DeMarcus Cousins, putting up an insane stat line. Sean Livingston is on the team. John Salmons put up 13 and look at Bogut, man. 12 and 15 off the bench. I'm telling you, this is giving me some real Sacramento-esque vibes. But let's get straight into the playoffs. And obviously, you guys know, prime Dwight Howard, something that you really don't want to mess with. Like, Dwight Howard just won the MVP. As you guys can expect, young team, Dwight Howard, yeah, we went out there and we got swept. There was just no way that we were going to be able to stop Dwight Howard. But, yo, Boogie actually did turn up in the playoffs, and he really showed out. Unfortunately, we do not have a top pick in this coming year's draft. It's going to be a while, and the Oklahoma City Thunder go ahead, and they win this year's championship, which means Katie's probably never leaving. Kawhi, Klay Thompson, Kyrie, Jimmy Butler. I would have liked any one of these guys. And Kawhi actually goes to the Phoenix Suns, and Kyrie fell to number four. Just think if we would have got one of those guys. Hell, even Kemba Walker smiling around would have been so much better. 
then Jordan, like we are rocking with far more as our starting point guard. And look at us. We got Marcus Morris with the 15th pick. Hey, yo, we're going to be mugging the entire league. This is going to be a dangerous front court. That's all I'm saying. But look at us right now, man. Of course, Bogut is getting worse. Boogie is getting better. This is something that I don't think that this is really going to help the team. But hey, man, Marcus Morris is not the worst thing out here. And looking at this year's lineup, hey, yo, is Aaron Aflalo. We really got Aaron Aflalo starting out here, bro. Okay, yeah, season two, I can already tell the prime is, is kind of being wasted right now. I'm not going to lie. And at the end of year number two, we actually get our wish. We are a bad team, and Boogie put up 31 and 13 boards and a 1.7 blocks. He was in his bag, and we were one of the worst teams in the league, which doesn't really make sense if we literally added in a lotto pick. But after Boogie, Morris put up 14 points and nearly six rebounds, so he really did his job. And even Aaron Aflalo was getting buckets out there. It still don't make sense how we got worse, but hey, that's just 2K logic. And after simming through these playoffs, Kobe Bryant gets his sixth NBA championship and Tim Duncan gets his fifth. And also Joe Johnson wins a ring as well. So let's get straight into this year's draft lottery. We're looking at getting the fifth overall pick. Give us a lot of luck and get us number one. Okay, we had the sixth pick. They actually kind of hold us. But let's get straight into this year's draft. Kawhi and AD. Why? Please, why? <laughs> that is insane. Draymond goes to the Pelicans. Beal goes to Utah. Interesting. Drummond goes. Okay, he's taking the mark to spot. Good, good luck there. Harrison Barnes goes to Washington. And what about our pick? What's that sixth pick looking like, bruh? Get Dame. Please get Dame. Please get... Oh, hell no. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Will Barton. Boogie's getting sabotaged again. He's, he's getting sabotaged again. This is not even right. This is honestly kind of messed up, man. Boogie, he's, he's getting Will Barton. Thank you, Sim. Thank you, CPU. They are trading Bogut. Please take Dame. Let's freaking go. You guys don't understand how afraid I was that we passed up on Dame. We get Damian Lillard with Boogie Cousins. This is by far his best teammate yet. So hopefully Will, Will Barton can turn into a superstar like, as well. But Boogie and Dame Dalla, I know Dame is not gonna fold on us. And I know right now we're, we're looking really, really good as Dwight Howard joins Paul George and DeMar. We got Melo. Melo saw Dame pull up here. He saw Boogie. He said, I'm getting out of Denver. I'm coming to Milwaukee. Yo, shouts out to 2K Logic. I'll take it. Yeah, we got Melo. We got Dame. We got Morris. We got Dame Dollar. I ain't gonna cap. The future of this team is now looking so much more promising. We're starting Anthony Morrow. What's up with these random players starting? We're in a really, really good shape right now. I'm not saying championship, but our team is looking wow. That last offseason was actually insane. At the end of year number three, we start to see the dominance of Stephen Curry happen a little bit earlier. That's not good for us at all. And AD and Kawhi, once again, is massively scary. But look at Bogey. I forgot that Dwight Howard and Bogut are on the same team. And Bogut is sixth man of the year now in Toronto. And Dwight is still freaking Dwight. How are we going to stop this team? Anyways, we see Boogie make All-NBA first team in his third season. Putting up 26 points, 15 boards. He was just a dog all around. We see our boy Dame Dollar on our rookie first team. Now at an 81 overall, averaging 16 and 6. And Melo, man. Yo, Melo really let Boogie cook. He only put up 22 points a game and really just played his role very well. Which is why this team was able to make the playoffs. Around one, we got Charlotte. Obviously, they got, okay, they got Gerald Wallace playing. They got Lowry. They got Clay Thompson. They got Stack. And we actually take the first game against Charlotte with Boogie putting up 32 and 11. But in game number two, it was a little bit different. This game was really, really close. And we're going to get some gameplay now. Because we really get to see, look at Dame Dollar with the bricks. Definitely is not Dame time yet. He got to, you know, we got to wait a few more seasons to really see that. But Clay Thompson. Yo, Clay was eating, I ain't gonna lie. And Melo, well, Melo was just, Melo was being Melo, man. He was not passing the ball. And it's all good. Three-point play. It's all good. If we win a yes, yes, Gerald, it's your bad. But it's not even a problem if we are winning the game. And he actually gives us the lead. 103 to 102. But once again, man, yo, Clay Thompson, problem. They got the one-point lead. Clay Thompson on the drive. And he gets the and one right back. Man, Clay, you got to stop playing with us. Melo, can you answer it right back? Midi, you know it's cash money with Melo, bruh. Melo's been hot. He, right back to Melo on the lay. Filet. It's easy money, man. Melo's doing his thing in the clutch. He's taking 11 jump shots in this fourth quarter alone. 
Clay Thompson don't even think about passing the ball to no Kyle Lowry. Here's Clay on the drive. Put a man on Clay, please. I beg you. And Carmelo Anthony, you could pass the ball. He could pass it. He ain't gonna pass it. Bad shot. And Melo loses us this game. I ain't gonna lie. I, I was pretty mad at Melo. Yes, he was cooking, but hey, yo, dog, at some point, you gotta you gotta pass that thing. Hey man, but it's all good. The series is tied at one to one. But this definitely does not last that long because after a while, Charlotte packs us up. Boogie had 31 and 25. What more can you ask for? And they got us up out of the playoffs, man. This team just clearly is not ready yet. And of course, we got some sus picks like Will Barton. But overall, this team was not bad. And at this point, the Thunder are a dynasty. Like these guys have like two or three championships. You're really just not beating them. And they're definitely going to be a problem in the future. I can assure you of that. Obviously, the league has changed a lot because KG and Paul Pierce retired. So, Braun is heading to Philly. Also, Lowry joins the Hornets. I don't know what's really up with that. And the Suns just keep on getting better and better. And yeah, the Thunder pay James Harden this time. Something that they definitely should have done in real life. And looking at this scene, Boogie's up to a 91 overall. Dame is getting better and better. And yeah, I'm really liking the development of this team. In this reason, it's pretty obvious that LeBron is definitely not winning as many championships. He's been really dominant, especially on the defensive side of the ball. He wins this year's MVP. And he also goes ahead and he wins this year's Defensive Player of the Year award as well. Oh yeah, Ty Lawson. Do you guys remember how good Ty Lawson? actually was looking at this year's stats though Melo did get injured boogie of course it was still boogie but Melo did get injured he has left knee tendonitis once again dame is still hanging around that 16 to 17 point per game range but he's now up to an 87 overall and heading into the playoffs kyrie irving versus dame i love that but overall we got a better team and there's no Melo. and without Melo, this team is so cold i don't want to diss Melo. boogie put up 47 and 12 without Melo. We kind of are doing our thing right now. Like, yo, maybe we don't need that old man. I don't know. But right now, this seems on a different type of timing. We, these guys, 129 to 91. Even later on, we go ahead and end up beating this team in five, which is honestly the greatest feeling ever. This team definitely could not handle us. And Dane dropped 40 this time. Yo, these guys are going back and forth as Boogie at 17 and 26 rebound. So it looks like without Melo, this team is doing very, very good, and we advance to the next run against the New York Knicks. All they got is Shump. Let's go ahead and let's drop this team off, too. And we make it to the Eastern Conference Finals against the Toronto Raptors. And once again, man, Dwight Howard, Dennis Schroeder, DeMar DeRozan, PG, Barniani. Yo, this team is tough, and I'm not going to lie, man. Seeing this team is very scary. They are so much more experienced than us. And we fall to them real quick. But look at Melo with the clutchness from three. Three to the dome. I like that, Melo. I like that, Melo. Somebody got to come and care. But Paul George is the problem. I'm not going to lie. Paul George, he's too tough. Yo, I'm not going to lie. Pandemic P is not even a thing in this universe. Here's Jeff T with the Dame like three in his cash. Yo, what is going on in this career sim? We're seeing, yo, Jeff T's on a different type of timing. Here's PG coming right back. We can't stop him. We got no answers for Paul George. And once again, man, Paul George, in this career sim, he acted different. Here's Melo down the stretch. Less than 20 seconds left. Off to the rack. He misses a layup. Come on, Melo. You got to finish it. And we end up following Paul George. And they just smack us. I'm not going to lie. Once again, Melo was solid. Boogie. Eh, yeah. Dame. We're going to need some help, man. We definitely got to get reinforcements. But PG with 42, 14, and 8. Schroeder put 40 on us. DeMar put 22 on us. We definitely cannot win playing that way. And, and the Raptors and John Wall and the Wolves are on the... John Wall gets a championship with the Timberwolves before us. We are definitely having a lot more success compared to real life in Sacramento. But I kind of want to get that ring. I'm not going to lie. Seeing John Wall get one makes me want it even more. And with the future of this team looking more and more promising, of course I got to run it back. We end up signing a three-year extension for $107 million, which luckily we did not take that uh, PG Max. I don't know about that one. That might be an L. But Melo also starts to, you know, he starts to regress a little bit. He's now down to an 89 overall. And Dame... Dame's up to an 87, and sooner or later, he's going to be passing up Melo. And let's get to the end of season number five, because we are back in the playoffs as the second seed. Numbers were down this year all around, but Dame did go up a little bit. Boogie went down, Melo went down, and after dropping off everybody, we are back into the Eastern Conference 
at this point toronto toronto and us we got a big old rivalry going on they got their same team and we are looking even better than we did before we actually end up taking this first game 108 to 114 we are heading into game four and here's dame dollar for the three it's Dame time, man. Hey, yo, Dame time is back in full force. He's, we're trying to get these boys up out of here. Here's DeMarcus Cousins doing his work as well. We end up walking out of here with a massive W and winning the Eastern Conference Finals, which is a massive W because we finally won the East, which is actually insane. Something that Boogie, like, in real life, Boogie barely made it past the first round or even the playoffs in Sacramento. But now we got the Oklahoma City Thunder. You guys know, man. How many rings have these guys won with Russ? KD, they got Hassan Whiteside. Luckily, James Harden is out with a torn MCL. But this team, bro, 141 of one. Oh my gosh. Triple doubles from KD and Russ. How on earth do you stop this one? Russ is shooting 40% from the three point line. We are really down bad against this team. Boogie with 35 and 22. What more can we ask of him? Even Dame played really, really good in this game. But where on earth is Melo? Let's post this man up real quick. Boogie. I at least don't want to get swept now. Do not let us go all sad. Do not let us go all sad. Here's Jeff T. Okay, he, you might want to take this shot, bro. I guess we're dribbling out the clock. Yo, Jeff, pass the ball to Boogie. Pass the ball to Boogie, Jeff, please. Okay, please, Morris. Why is Morris? Morris, take the shot. Why on earth was the game-winning shot in the hands of Marcus freaking Morris, man? What on earth was that? And we obviously take the L. This team is too good. Like I said before, this team is a team that had so much potential in real life. And in 2K, they are showing their dominance as Russ finally gets a finals MVP. The one thing I got to say is at least we didn't get swept. And heading into next season, Kobe Bryant decides to retire him and Tim Duncan. So at least the Spurs dynasty is kind of up. And at least that's the one team we don't got to deal with. As far as this year's free agency, Rush joins the Lakers after winning a ring, which makes zero sense to me at all. And Melo, say it ain't so, bro. You literally drop down below 20 points per game one time, and you leave us for Dirk and the Dallas Mavericks. Ain't that a shame? After Melo decided winning was not his style, yo, why on earth did we bring in LaMarcus Aldridge, man? And Kevin Love. Him and Dame are playing together just like they did in real life. But why bring in Kevin Love as well? That's two power fours that are highly overpaid on this team right now. We actually drafted Kelly Oubre. Bench is nice with Kayla, Barden, and Teague, but hey, man, I don't know. And Damian Lillard makes his first All-NBA team as a member of the All-NBA third team. And this season, he, he's looking insane. He actually let the team is scoring over boogie but yo boogie don't got no problem with that man boogie still was an all-star still one of the best players in the league and lamarcus was really good as the third option that just might be the guy that we actually need on this team as far as Melo, well his team got bounced in the first round and for us we kind of end up we win the east again and we are getting to play john wall and the timberwolves in the NBA Finals, which for us is kind of unfavorable, but we do end up taking them to a Game 7. And this was a matchup. We, we had the lead early on, but hanging down to the wire, it gets a little bit close. But at the end of the day, we are able to win our first NBA championship, 121-109. LaMarcus with 26-7 and seven in the closeout game. Dame with 22. And Boogie with a double-double. This team dropped Melo, made it back to the Finals, and this year against a way weaker team. We win it, and of course, DeMarcus Cousins is fun as MVP, putting up 21, 13 boards, and he shot 40% from the three and 42% from the field. A massive W, and already, guys, if you guys have not dropped a like, go ahead and do it, because we got Boogie a ring, which was definitely one of our biggest goals of this video. Dame went crazy. LaMarcus went crazy. I'm trying to go back to back, though, because right now, this duo is kind of unstoppable. Who on earth wouldn't want to stay? Yo, Boogie's down to stay. If we know one thing, Boogie was always loyal to the Kings. And having him and Dame here, <laughs> I'm telling you, the future of this team is looking incredible. And that's why Dame decided that he want to stay here. Four-year extension, 157 million bucks. We looking good right now. And at the end of year number seven, we see Kyrie Irving actually take home this year's MVP. This man put up 42 a game. And looking at it, Damian Lillard and Boogie both are on the first team. So at this point, it's pretty obvious that both of these guys are superstar level players. Like these are two of the best players in the entire league and they just won a championship trying to get one more. Obviously they are both still putting up insane numbers even seven seasons into this entire thing. And at this time, we breeze through the East again and we just sweep everybody, literally 12 and 0. Trying to go 16 and 0 against the Tyreek Evans and Kemba Walker led Sacramento Kings. 
This is interesting because they had Drummond. They got Blake Griffin. Bogut is on this. Why do we keep seeing Bogut? But it looks like Drummond is actually injured. A severe right ankle sprain. I love to see it. But this team was competitive. Yo, Dame 41 and 10. This team was really, really competitive the entire thing. We actually go up 3-1 of them, trying to give them a little gentleman sweep. And heading into the fourth quarter of this game, it looks like this team is going to be walking out of here as back-to-back -back NBA champions. And so far, Boogie's career has been very, very good. He's made the playoffs almost every single season except one time. He's made the conference finals like three times. And he has two championships. And he's back-to-back -back finals MVP. This is honestly the perfect storyline. It's kind of sus whenever Milwaukee drafted us, but so far, it's looked very, very good. And even in the finals, he put up numbers 20 and 15. Yeah, it's not insane. Yeah, Dame led us in scoring with 28. And arguably, Dame should have been finals MVP. But Boogie's impact offensively and even on defense is definitely seen. And I can kind of see it. Looking at real life, he was definitely a better passer. But in this career sim, that man's looking like Rudy Gobert defensively which is really, really scary for the entire league. But heading into next season, once again, we are the best team in the entire league trying to three-peat. The team is looking very, very good. LaMarcus Aldridge is injured, which kind of scares me because he was kind of our third guy. Having that injury, we go down three games to the eighth seed. You guys know how 2K does. That eighth seeded glitch. And we take this L and we really get swept. We really get knocked off in the first round by the by the freaking wizards granted they did pick up james harden but still and i know we had some injuries to like boogie and obviously lamarcus but this definitely was not a good look for this team and this season we, we would actually see the sacramento kings go on to win this year's championship which is definitely not a good sign for us with drummond drummond is very dominant in this sim which is very very weird we start to see a lot of regression at the age of 28 boogie's starting to actually regress he's now down to a 93 overall and yeah this team is kind of down bad i mean we got swaggy p starting now but boogie put up 30 this year and we're losing a few guys like we've suffered through a lot of injuries and overall this team is getting bounced like we are no longer even making it back to the conference finals we're seeing everybody else win but us, which is definitely not something that I wanted to see happen. I mean, just look at us, man. We are down bad these last three seasons with Jamal Murray and James Harden. These boys are winning championships. I think they got somebody else, too. I think Melo's on this team. All of these teams are looking stacked, but we're back, man. Dame Dalla, Boogie has broken ribs, all NBA third team. The tail end of Boogie's career is so weird, and there's so many injuries, kind of like real life, but this season... 27 the game they're still playing very very well and we actually dropped off the wizards led by luke Kennard because boogie was injured at the beginning of this series and he kind of came back late luckily this team makes it back to the nba finals for the first time in years and looking at it demarcus cousins he's now down to 92 overall actually this team is kind of healthy yo luke Kennard is actually really good he's one of the best role players in the entire nba and yeah, we are really smoking off on these Pelicans. And Cat has like three MVPs. So Cat ain't no bum. And look at Boogie, man. He's injured. Please tell me he's all right, man. Please. Oh, my gosh. Out for the entire finals with a bruised tailbone? Are you, are, you, are you kidding me? He really got injured at the worst time for a game seven. But it looks like he's playing through it, which is definitely something that I kind of respect, man. I respect that so much. Boogie's playing through it, and he's balling out of control. This man played through a season ending injury and it looks like he's about to lead us to our third championship of this video it looks like we have won our third nba championship and your shouts out to demarcus cousins man he literally was supposed to be out for the rest of the finals he played through the injury and buddy got his third ring i mean just look at how life is so different not being drafted by the kings and this year is he, okay, Dame gets his first Finals MVP, which kind of makes sense because Boogie did get injured. So Dame walks away with this year's Finals MVP. But nonetheless, man, Boogie got three NBA championships. Dame put up 27 and a nine assists on insane efficiency. Boogie was also doing his thing as well. And shouts out to Cat. He actually led the finals in scoring. And it looks like he just cannot escape Andrew Wiggins at all. This duo, I mean, heading into year 12, we are still a competitive team. Yes, we are the fifth seed, but still one of the best teams in the league. And at this point, Dame is arguably 
the best player on the entire team yeah uh the seating is high the knicks drop us off and uh, this season we actually see the pistons yes the pistons with chris Dots porzingis they go ahead and they win this year's championship and even heading into season 13 this man is down to an 87 overall this team is definitely heading down rapidly with now boogie being an 84 dame is still at an 87 regression is hitting us really really hard and we start to fall out of the playoffs which for this team is bad and we even see mark hill Fultz and lamello ball win, win a championship so many things are different in this sim 15 years in boogie decides to hang it up at the age of 34 years old and that's going to be the end of this video boogie obviously is retiring with kevin durant stephen curry bledsoe evan turner a really stacked hall of fame draft class this simulation was amazing guys obviously you guys know boogie was dominant almost the entire way through of course these last two years he didn't have the best numbers but but overall he was really dominant 24 points 13 boards three assists a game and one and a half blocks per game on insane efficiency 50 percent from the field he shot really good from the three-point line as well and boogie was really dominant obviously he didn't break every single record he only scored like 27,000 points which is not insane 14 seasons three championships i think this was successful for some reason it's glitched and it's showing only our two rings but you guys obviously saw it we went back to back as champions and we also won another one a few years later three championships so many all-star games he was a defensive player in this simulation and he was dominant all around a definite hall of famer he makes a hall of fame with steph and with kd we didn't see stephen curry win any championships in this entire sim and it's just crazy how on earth do we do all that and milwaukee does not retire our number that's kind of disrespectful but looking at it boogie's career how it was 57 points he went crazy here imagine if brandon jennings stayed on with this team earlier i'm kind of happy he left so that we can get dame though but looking at it man this career sim was so fun to me guys let me know what you guys thought about it in the comment section below if you guys have not seen prime boogie play he was a beast his career changed so much by not going to sacramento and i know i've said it a thousand times but the entire league honestly changed in player situations they change so drastically depending on which team they are drafted to but other than that guys let me know if you guys enjoyed this video and the way that i put this video together if you guys enjoyed it let me know who we should do this with next and what other types of content you guys want to see on this channel obviously boogie turned into a champion which is something that i really hope happens it's surely one of the saddest stories in nba history but other than that guys thanks for watching this video make sure you go and like up this video go ahead and subscribe and check out all the other videos on the screen right now